This tutorial is a free preview lesson from our 101 Photoshop for Beginners course. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RitaPro.com. The following tutorial is a free preview from our 101 Photoshop for Beginners course. And if you're a beginner and want to learn more about Photoshop, I suggest you check out our 101 Photoshop for Beginners course on the website. Click on this video here to see the course trailer or take this coupon code to get a reduced $10 entry today. But for now that's it, let's head right away into the free preview lesson. Photoshop layer masks. So, so confusing. Not a lot of people understand it right, but it's actually so simple. Photoshop layer masks. Let me explain this a bit. Masks are pixel areas that are hidden or shown from a certain layer. So I'm going to say it again. Masks are pixel areas that are hidden or shown from a certain layer. Let me show it to you guys over here in our layers palette. First of all, you will see here at the bottom we have the pixel layer, just a normal layer and a normal image. And on top of that, we also have this pixel layer, but it has a mask attached. So firstly, you can select your image or you can also select the mask. If I'm going to switch this on now, you'll see there's a certain effect. I'm going to go and disable this layer quickly so you guys can actually see the complete image. Again, like before from the lessons, we still have our effects active here. And again, the complete layer has this effect. Now though, I accepted a mask and right away everything that is white will still be shown and everything that is black will be hidden. I'm going to say this again. Everything on a mask that is white will be shown, everything that is black will be hidden. This can also sometimes be opposite. If I'm going to invert this now, you'll see the black is on the top. So this means now black again is hiding, white at the bottom, everything is visible. Okay. So let's actually now go and delete this layer and show you guys quickly from scratch how we do this. Delete the layer mask. All right, so first of all, if you're working with the layer mask, you need to first of all select the layer that you want to add a mask to because currently it is not active. If I select the pixel layer over here, I can now go down here to the mask icon and select the mask. Now currently we are on the white mask. Everything is shown. If we invert this, Everything is black and that means everything is hidden from the mask. But let's stick with white for now. I'm also going to show you in a moment how to create the black masks. So first of all, you have a white mask now and maybe for instance you go to the brush and you want to select the brush here, you want to paint out just the goggles here and the glasses and you're painting and brushing and brushing but nothing is happening. This is so confusing. Why is it not happening? Maybe I need to select this and you're painting, oh my god, okay, no. You are now actually painting on your original image. You wanted to paint on the mask and hide. All right, so let's go just a step back and recap again on this. You're not supposed to paint on this layer. This layer over here is basically your original image. You're supposed to paint on the mask. Second of all, you are now painting with a white foreground color. That's why nothing is happening. Your mask is already white. You need to change your foreground colors. So change them to black. And if you paint now, everything that is black will disappear and will be hidden and everything that is white will show. Like so. Have a look at the mask here. Everything that is black will disappear and everything that is underneath will show. So for instance, the mask is here just to hide everything from this layer, not from this layer. It's just supposed to hide from this layer. So whatever is black is hiding, whatever is white is showing. Let's go another step back and do this once again. So with a white foreground color, you won't see anything. Now again, I'm painting on my original image. Select the mask, black foreground color, and I can now, for instance, just hide the glasses here. Okay, let's paint a little bit on. Everything is hidden now, so we have the original black glasses here from the bottom layer. Plus, we have the effect on the lady just from the top layer. Again, everything that is white will be shown, everything that's black is hidden, and everything that is underneath this black mask here will be visible here on the mask. But now, if we invert this again, you'll see the opposite happening. Everything that is black will be hidden. So the complete lady is hidden, and only her glasses with this effect, obviously it's white, will be shown. So don't get confused. White always shows, black always hides. So you have to pay attention to what your mask is currently set to and then you're good to go. 
Great, I'm also gonna hit right click and also delete this layer and quickly show you guys another technique here. So first of all, you can either use certain tools in order to create masks or right away create a mask. I don't want you to pay too much attention now to the tool that I'm using. I just wanna show you the effect. Say for instance, if you have a selection here, you can now right away select your layer that you want. So it's the pixel layer and right away head over here and select the mask. So right away Photoshop creates a selection around the area that you have selected. So this is now white, it's shown, the rest is black, it's hidden. You want to create the opposite, you can just invert this with Command I. For all the Windows users, also Control I. So again, black hides, white shows. Let's delete this once again and show you guys another effect. For this, I just need to switch this off, move this down and maybe have now our original picture on the top. So pixel layer over here, the original is on top and the edited one is at the bottom. So everything that I'm going to hide now from this layer will reveal the bottom one. So let's select the pixel layer and now we're going to go in the quick selection mode. So over on your tool panel box, we go over here and you can hover over this also to read quick mask mode. So I'm going to select that. I'm now currently in the quick mask mode. If I double click on this, it will also quickly show me the quick mask options. And over here is all the mask areas will be shown in a 50% red color. So let me explain this. I'm gonna accept this now and enter the mode. And now right away, paint with this. Excuse, I'm still out of this. And select the brush tool and select the mask mode. And now everything that is red will be a selection. Okay, more about this also soon in the selection tool. But for now, I just want to understand or give you an idea of what it does with masks. So say for instance, all of this area here I've masked this and now I can go over to the mask tool and create a selection out of this. Sorry, first of all, I need to go out of the mask tool. Again, out of this, we have created a selection. Now you can go over to the mask tool and right away we have a mask again on our layer. So there's a few differences. You get a mask on a layer and you get a mask for selections. So don't get confused between both of them. But more about the mask mode, selections here once we get to the selection tool. Okay, so let's delete this once more. We're going to create a new selection out of this. Basically move this one down. Take our pixel layer, create a mask on this again, and maybe just quickly with the selection tool, going to also create a selection here. Right click, I'm going to fill this up with black. I don't want you to pay too much attention to the what the effect I'm doing right now. Just again to the mask. So when you're on the mask now, you can also hit right click and first of all, disable this layer. So you can see your whole picture here. Disable and you get to see the complete effect that's only happening here in the front. Once you select it again, it will activate the mask. So select it and the mask is activated. Otherwise, you'll see a big X here if it's deselected. Select it again and it's active. You can hit right click once again and over here have a few more options. Disable the layer, delete the layer, apply another layer, add a mask to the selection, subtract or intersect or even refine or go back into more mask options again. Or if you want to now, you can also duplicate this. You can just hold Alt on the keyboard and move this down. So you're basically copying now just the mask to the next picture. So right away you can see that both of these pictures here have the same effect with the mask and everything is hidden. So nothing is hit here at the bottom. We do not have a background layer. So this means obviously everything is hidden now that is black. If we invert this again with Command I, you will see that obviously everything that is white from the top layer here is shown and from the black layer here, only this part is visible again. But we don't really need another mask here. That would just be nonsense. So let's disable and delete this again. Okay. So you kind of get the effect of this. Also future down the line, we can have another more effects, basically meaning if you hold Alt between the layers, a little arrow appears. Hold Alt on the keyboard go between the layers and a little arrow appears. And this means now that only this layer is clipped to this layer. But more about that in the adjustment layers. Okay, let's also unclip this again. And for now, just stick with the normal layer masks. 
Great, so now you have seen a free preview from our Photoshop beginner course. Again, click right here to join and also don't forget about the coupon code. So yeah, thanks again guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. Yeah, and you're still here and interested in some more stuff. So first of all, maybe hit us up with a like if you really enjoyed this content. Also subscribe and share. And if you want to download my free Tronix Design Media Package, have a look down below in the description. Leave your feedback as well. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. And if you want to see some more Photoshop beginner tutorials, have a look. I've listed some free previews here as well.